What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John the Gamer here. Welcome you back to another episode of the Solid Glock. Yes, I am, like, laying in my chair. It's fine. I just hurt, and I'm tired, and I want to go to sleep. But I can't do that because I have work. So, like, yay. Um, but, yeah, we're going to do the game recap. Um, we have our little special bee. Or we had our little special bee. There's a little special bee. Um, hanging out and having a good time with us. You know, she's, like, she's, like, sad death sad deaths um honestly b was the saddest death and it kind of is hard to even look at a plushie of b and not remember the high jump kick from a blaziken or a combuskin that murdered her um <laughs> yeah anyways we have ernesto with the expert belt with runaway tail glow air slash bug buzz you turn we have babe with low kick rock climb magma storm and will-o-wisp we have jack on with low kick bulk up Toxic or toxic and poison fang. Shadow Claw, Strength, Judgment, and Extreme Speed on our Lucario. We have leftovers on our 2-7 Brittany with Heat Wave, Aqua Jet, Fly, and Surf. And we got Tito with a Seed Bomb, Earthquake, Surf. And Error Slash. So I nearly forgot what it was. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get our route 200 and whatever encounter. And it's a Parasect, so nope, it's getting bopped. Sorry, Parasect, but you deserve it. And we're here. I'm going to skip those berries. I, I know, I know, I know. I'm being mean. But are these berries really helpful? No, 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 not really. So, uh, like, the wiki berry is, like, some of these berries are good for, like, attack or, like, get you. It, it's, the, it's the berries that are um, in later generations that become gain half your health back but as a result of X, uh, but you can't be a certain like nature, which honestly are great ideas for a berry, but a citrus berry just automatically is better than that because it's a general version of that berry. Um, and honestly, the wiki berry, the maga berry, and all those berries are fine. They buffed them actually in later generations, but they buffed them a lot. Um, and so then they're like God tier, which that doesn't help either because they kind of, made them to god tier and yeah it was a big oof on their part to make it as god tier as they did but you know there really is nothing that you could do like they did change it back so in generation 7 what i'm talking about is generation 7 they made the wiki mago and all those berries do have he like heal half your health but in exchange like the only downside the only negative is if you're the wrong nature then you're fine you, you, it's okay because if you're the wrong nature, then you just kind of deal with what you've got and you don't put that berry on, but you get half your health. So, like, there is no consequence. And it's just like, ooh! -hoo. So they realized that they buffed it too much in that game, which is definitely good that they fixed it the literal next opportunity that they got in the next generation. But, like, the fact that they had it that high buffed in the first place is just insanity. Gen 7 berries are just on super overload which i mean could that potentially make sense yes actually because it's in the uh it's in the uh the the the, the alolan region so like it could totally make a whole slew of sense that it is like that and everything would be okay at that point so do i agree with that change no but then in generation 8 they did make it so that it was uh 60 what was it uh i'm thinking 65 Ooh, mantine is uh mantine is a bad pokemon for our team um uh oh <laughs> uh oh uh oh uh britney you gotta take care of this one my girl because uh ernesto four pokemon are weak to this and then lucario and you know i trust Brittany more than lucario any day of the week so i i don't care how this is gonna go i think this is gonna be scary though uh that i can pretty much virtually guarantee look at the, oh i mean if you want to feather the dance me that's fine like you th are throwing right now sir you are throwing goods sir i'm not a physical attacking pokemon so the fact you threw that badly is amazing thank you very much <laughs> i did not deserve that in whatsoever but you know if the game wants to provide me with an easy dub there i will let the game provide me with an easy dub there but yeah no it's just crazy to think about hi elite four member flint 
you are amazing. And, uh, yeah, people apparently call Flint Ronald McDonald, and I don't see it. Like, I guess... I don't, I don't, I say I don't see it, and then I'm like, now that I actually look at it, I mean, it kind of is, but, um, it's just crazy. They're like, they're like, get the, beat the robot of McDonald's. It's like, no, memes. I don't understand memes, okay? Like, I'm going to be 100% out, out there, outwardly fronting with you guys. What the heck is memes? Like, okay, so, I, I don't understand them, because, like, a lot of the time, they're not really that funny at all like i have a meme section in my discord and sometimes uh, like you can get a chuck out of a chuckle out of them but it, it becomes like the self-promotion tab where it's like okay that's fine if there's just a meme there like it's it's whatever and i feel outwardly bad about it because it's like oh well because it, it makes me feel like i don't care even though i do care it's just not what i would intend on having happen so I don't know, what's your guys' thoughts on, like, the memes and all the stuffs like that? Like, let me know. Um, also, uh, actually, I can use that for comic question of the day on tomorrow. Uh, I say tomorrow's, but it's not tomorrow's episode. That would be, uh, Tuesday's episode? No. Yes, Tuesday's episode. I can use that for comic question of the day there. Uh, but yeah, no, I don't understand it. Like, what is the, what is the whole fun of meme culture? Oh, wow, uh, that's a good thing. Like... Like, what makes it funny? What makes a meme funny to you? I have yet to really find a meme that I'm like, ha, 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 that's amazing. It's the best thing ever. Be and I just, like, that's just me, like, being stupid. But, yes. Like, I have never, ever, ever, ever come across something like that where I'm just like, yep, nope, that's perfect. I immediately, like, love this now. And it's like, <sighs> I feel bad. <laughs> I, like, again, I don't know what... I mean, I don't... There's a lot of things that make me laugh, but that's just not one of them. Come on, Flint. Let me go. He's upbeat and ready to battle you. Hopefully, you don't die. Yeah, I know, Flint. Just... I know. You're fine. You don't have to... You don't have to wish me good luck. Because if you do that, then I will die, and then I'll be sad. But yeah, so... I don't know. It's just fun. Fun to kind of see people's perspective and how people, like, think of things. And actually, I, I will talk about the thing. So, um, Christmas is a coming. Um, if people don't, if you guys don't know, Christmas is a coming, and it'll uh, be here before we all know it. And I am curious, um, what does gifts mean to you on Christmas? So, why do I ask this? Because I personally like gifts are not the number one thing. In terms of Christmas Day and things that are going on, blahs, and all, I, I, blahs, it's literally the joys, not the blahs. Well, let's hope, I hope you don't have a blah on Christmas, because you don't deserve to have a blah on Christmas. You deserve to have a good Christmas. Um, but yeah, so, you have all that, right? And a lot of people, like, make it, like, that gifts are, like, the number one. And I'm like, but, but no, like, gifts aren't the number one? Ah, uh, like... Because to me, it's the time that you spend with your family and the time that you end up hanging out and doing things is my number one, personally. It's just hanging out with the people that I enjoy and the people that I love um, dearly, right? So, of course, friends would count into that, too. Um, it's just, it's kind of a different sit like situation when it comes to friends and hanging out with friends. Because some of them, unfortunately, live very far away and have busy, busy lives. Um, actually, it's kind of crazy. Like, it's a crazy thing to think about. But most of my friends don't live in the same state that I do. Like, you, you say that out loud, and it kind of makes you think. Most of my friends do not live in the same state that I do. Now, is it, is it an inherently bad thing? No, it's not something that, you know, it's been predispositioned to have, and it's not something that people are going to be like, ha, you don't have any friends. But in, in your head and in your mind, because I have, unfortunately, anxiety over literally everything, um, you kind of tell yourself that you're not good enough, and you tell yourself flaws and stupid stuff, and it's just like, but no, like, it's fine. Like, 
So, anyways. Uh, it's kind of... It, it, it is sad, uh, to say the least, that Brain does stupid stuff like that. Like, does anybody else's brain do stupid stuff like that? Like, that t your brain tells yourself that you're not good enough and that there's nothing you can do to be better. Like, it sucks, right? Like, if you if you guys go through it and know what I'm talking about, you know the pain and the trouble that it is when your brain wants to just be a dumb and tell you all of the negative stuff. Because, like, you really want to focus on the positive, right? Obviously, negatives will exist. And it's not like that will ever go away. But it's not like the negatives are overwhelming. Like, the negatives are going to be there. It's just that we tend to focus on them way, way more than we should. And I don't know. I, I, I wish that there was a way to, like, not focus on the negative and just focus yourself on the positive. So, do you guys have any tips for that? Because if you do, I would love to uh, get my brain a little bit of a retraining course here because I, I, I feel like I deserve to be better and to get better. So, yeah, if there's a way, let me know. Because, yeah, I, I need it. I, I really do. It's just, it's something that has been kind of painstakingly on my mind for a bit longer than it needed to be on my mind for so yeah if you have any any ways to get better let me know um also probably grass type no oh wait what it used the wrong form of conversion what <laughs> wait 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 is why did it convert into a type that i was super okay i'm confused i'm officially confused but i mean this also is not surprising <laughs> unfortunate enough it is not surprising that i got confused but yeah so i don't know just let me know your thoughts your thought processes on things and stuffs yeah i i, I want to know because i i believe that there is room for improvement there's always room to get better but you gotta like allow yourself to be better and allow yourself to be better so yeah anyways um i was gonna say that's it for this episode no we still got 10 minutes john there, you're way off on your timing there, Doom Buggy. Like, you literally have a... You literally have an episode structure. You have an episode structure plan. And yet, we're still doing this. We're still like, yep, nope, this is this is an episode. No, nope, it's not. Um, my brain is kind of in a, a... Not a rut. That's not the word I'm looking for. But it's in a weird spot. Because, uh... So, I am closing with uh mr hottie today and because i'm closing alone with mr hottie today my brain is like okay john don't say stupid stuff and it's just like but brain like you're asking me to do something i can't physically do and it's like no you can do it you just don't want to do it i'm like yes brain i'm like i know and this is episode is gonna make me sound like a delusional person but like my brain just tells me, hey, you're better than this. Hey, you're you're gonna do it. You're gonna you're gonna make a move that you're not gonna like and you're gonna regret. And it's like, no brain, stop! Like, it's not the first week of the month yet, brain! You can you can have an excuse in the first week of the month, but you don't have an excuse right now. And just, <laughs> this episode is so off the rails. Anyways, so yeah, it's like brain, come on, you can debate you can you can help me out better than this brain please and it's like okay fine whatever so yeah so my brain just kind of does the thing and it's just like uh anyways so yeah with brain being silly with and silly sillily dumb it's just like okay brain like let's 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 calm down for a minute and that's kind of the mode that i've been it's like come on brain we can calm down a little bit and yeah, so I just I'm hoping that like that can happen. Uh, Magnezone, huh? But yeah, have you like have you really have you guys guys gone through that? I'm sure you have, which is unfortunate. So I'm sorry. Oh, frick, frack, what's in the bag? Frick, frack, what's in the bag? Frick, frack, what's in the bag? Okay, we got one more trainer and then the gym leader. Come on, game. Let me let me just do that.
sorry. Calm. I'm gonna be quiet for a second because I'm just gonna figure myself figure out the rest of this gym puzzle slow, bro. That I literally read that, and then my brain was like, "Yeah, that's not. That's, you're fine. You're okay." It's like, no, no. Oh, that's right. We have a Vex spore on Tito. Tito actually should be utilized more than I'm using Tito. I'm sorry, Tito. I I, I really did not treat you correctly. My bad, Tito. Okay, good. We are here. So, I have eight minutes. So, the reason why I did a lot of speed up in today's episode was because, well, I have eight minutes before I have to leave for work. So, I need this fight to go spectacularly. Uh, let's hope it does. I believe in it. I think that they, we can do really good on this fight. I am going to go ahead and say I'm going to lead with Babe. I think Babe is a good lead. Oh, let's get this going. Oh, right. It's not often, but some trainers manage to come and challenge me. But they think they've all been boring, and I didn't break a sweat. <sighs> I'm Faulkner. I'm the city's gym leader. And they say I'm the top gym leader. <sighs> but I can't enter the Elite Four. Anyways, I guess we better get this gone. And done. Uh, just like your midnight shift. Hopefully that goes well. Uh, but, you know, I want somebody that would make me remember the good old days. I'll, I'll, I'll try, Valkner. I, I'll really, I really will try to make you remember the good old days. The loveliness of the good old days. Um, so... No! No! I'm not letting you relive the good old days anymore! No! You just screwed your- You screwed the pooch, dude! You screwed the pooch! You threw a mammoth swine in front of me after- At the same level as a freaking- Or one level above when Roomba died! Nope! You, uh, you, you, yeah, no, no, you just screwed the pooch on that one, my dude! Nope, not, 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 not. You're gonna just die and lose all everything, because no, you do not throw Roomba out in front of me. I loved Roomba, and Roomba did not get a chance for the chat to love him too. I had to train him up from level 30 to 52. I got to love Roomba. The chat did not, so I'm avenging it for the chat. Ugh, Cradilly. I had a Cradilly, didn't I? No, that's in something else. Okay, never mind. Cradilly, fine. You know what? I, ca I can't get mad about the Cradilly, because I didn't have a Cradilly. I, ha I swear I did, though. Oh my god, I did. In... Oh, it had died right here, didn't it? Because it was a huge power Cradilly that I named Naruto. Oh my god. Memories. Dude, Volkner? No. You, you are not helping yourself, my dude. Stop sending out Pokemon that I loved and enjoyed from Sogluck. Uh, I, I mean, I, I mean, it's funny because it creates good content, but like still, I, I miss them. <laughs> of course. Okay, Nakon's rendered useless now. Um, okay. So, what are we doing now? I gotta speed up a little bit here, because I have five minutes. Polyrath, Tito, Pokemon, name I can't say yet. <laughs> I love when I, like, I want I, I want to say stuff. It's hard not to talk, like, because you're doing commentary and you have to talk. The silent episode was weird. That I still would say is one of the weirdest episodes of Saga Log. I, I I would have to say, on a scale from one ten, what was your weirdest episode of Saga Log? Like, what did you find ended up being the weirdest episode of Saga Log? Let me know. I'm I'm genuinely curious what the weirdest episode of Saga Log was to you because yeah, like let me know. Tito, Hitmonlee, Switch. Hitmonlee is getting bopped. Bye. I said bye. I should have aqua jetted. I almost lost Brittany by being dumb. Yay, Joy, we did it! Girl, we're amazing! What TM did you give me? Jump kick! Freaking, of course. <laughs> why? Why would we why would we get nothing else? Volkner was literally just throwing everything into my face. Volkner literally was like, you know, I wanted a trainer that makes me upset. And makes me want to be better. Well, I mean, you're establishing yourself a great rival by throwing the Pokemon that I use. And literally anything you could have to make things more sad, you did. So, 
freaking of course of course Volkner would do that like it would be who a Volkner to like freaking do stuff like that anyways welcome to the end of the episode I hope you all had a wonderful wonderful day I am going to save and get myself ready and set for work Mwah! love you